So we are recording live direct to vinyl. We're recording four songs. Going down this path um, at Capsule Lab was a really organic process with the video and the audio. Recording live is always fun and, and it's so awesome to feel the energy of just everybody coming together and making it happen. You know, you've got like one take to do it and you can't go back. So that's, it's, it's scary, but it's fun. And I think a lot of beautiful things happen that wouldn't happen normally, you know, if you had to go back in and redo things. The preset is Jeremy using on the board. Sorry, hold on, we can't hear you. Chris is asking what preset you're using on the reverb. Yeah. I've never done a lot to vinyl. Everybody knows that we're really, between the video and the audio, accomplishing something rather difficult. So little mishaps and things are all understood, and we've you know we've got a dance going now. It seems like things are things are starting to happen. Sounds pretty good to me right now. I found it pretty interesting and challenging, um, both directing the shoot and then also playing guitar. Yeah, um, working with our crew of about ten people on the video side of things to really capture the spirit of the, of the live recordings because we weren't going back and cutting and saying oh let's record the sax solo and camera be beyond that you know it was just yeah. like let really talented people with cameras just do their thing and, and not cue anything up it takes the edge off of me. We have the whole band set up out there where all the mic lines go upstairs into our mix board through all the vintage compressors and reverb chambers and all the stuff that we have going on upstairs. Then the audio is set downstairs with those two wires left and right. After we compress and do our EQing and stuff, then it goes to our, our, our record lathe over here. It goes straight to the cutter head. Um, we have all the amplifiers over here that power the cutter head. We have a switcher system over here. And this is the 1966 Neumann lathe that cuts directly onto the disc here. So we take a blank disc as, as we have here as an acetate master. Um, we cut these, uh, these, these sides at 33 RPMs and um, we have helium as a part of the process. So we'll usually turn on the vacuum and the helium and we'll bring it in and start cutting. After we've cut the groove, we'll do a nice analyzation through the microscope at 350 times magnification, um, ensuring the groove is properly cut. It's hard to vocalize or, or describe the, the difference from digital to vinyl, but there's a warmth component to it that, that's there. who believes in this concept of, yeah. of this crazy um, form of recording. So thank you for, you know, I've been pushing this for a minute to a lot of people and some people just don't get it. They don't understand the importance and, and the natural wonders of doing stuff raw and not overly produced in the studio and just kind of going at it. special for a band to actually you know take the initiative and step up and say hey we'll do it, it takes the end.